Hello everyone! Welcome to Cooking Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the PubNub API to send messages. Now, the PubNub API does not only serve to create messaging services, you can also use it to create, like, real-time location so you can watch people and multiplayer games. It's useful for basically anything that requires you to send a small amount of information from one person to another person and it's extremely easy to use. So if I go over here to Firefox, right, I can type anything into this box and it'll send it literally instantly to everyone connected to this page. So if I type I like waffles and start recording this on my cell phone. So now I'm filming and I press send and then I go over to this other computer, which I left with the tab open on it. As you can see, it says I like waffles. But that could easily be faked. So to prove that this is real, even more, I can type stuff into the box on this computer, hit send, and go back, and look at that. Stuff appeared right underneath I like waffles. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. However, before we get started, I have a couple things to say. First thing to say is this is this tutorial is for version 4 of the API, so if you're watching this way out in the future and there's a newer version, don't use this video. Look at the documentation or who knows, maybe I'll have a video explaining the latest version. And also this one's more relevant to you viewers watching this right now. You're going to need API keys. You're going to need a publish key and a subscribe key. Now, don't worry. You can get both of these for free. All you have to do is sign up. You can even log in with Google. Super easy. And you get it is a million transactions monthly for free before you have to start paying for stuff, which is pretty great. That's a lot. And... Just, just have those ready because we're going to use them. Now pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML and make a doc type tag. Exclamation mark doc type HTML. Next, make a script tag. Script src equals, and you're going to need to copy the link to the library, which I'll put in the description. Got that copied. So just paste it into that script tag and now close it. Slash script. Great. Now open a new script tag, script, and create a variable. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it pubnub because it makes sense. Gar pubnub equals new pub with a capital P, nub with a capital N, open parentheses and curly braces, publish key with a capital K colon and then in quotes go back copy your publish key and paste it in close those quotes comma and on the next line subscribe key with a capital K colon open quotes go copy your subscribe key and paste it in. Close those quotes, then close the curly braces and the parentheses. Next, create a function. Function. And I'm going to call it send message. You can call it whatever you want. Send message. And then inside the parentheses, just make a variable for that function so you can input whatever you want. And I'm going to make it txt. That's a nice name. Open curly braces, and inside, it is pretty simple. PubNub, that's a variable up here. Dot publish. Open parentheses, open curly braces. Channel. Colon. Open quotes. And you can name this channel whatever you want, and you can have as many channels 
I think the limit is 200 at the same time. And I'm going to call it MSG, short for message. You can call it whatever you want as long as you subscribe to this same channel. Comma, then on the next line, message, colon, open curly braces again. And you can have as many different things in here, but I'm going to keep it simple and only have one. Text, colon, and make it txt, which is the variable up here. And then close those curly braces, close those curly braces and parentheses, and then Close curly braces again. All right. Now, there's one more thing we need to do. Well, no, there's three. The first thing is we need to add an event listener so that when you receive a message, something happens instead of you don't get any messages. So, pubnub dot add listener, listener with a capital L open parentheses, open curly braces, and now message, colon, function, open parentheses, m, let's just call it m, like short for message, you can call it whatever you want, as usual, open curly braces, and we're going to add it to the end of an HTML element we are going to make shortly, so document, dot get element element with a capital E by wait I spelled that wrong element by with a capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes new MSGs or whatever you want to call it I don't care that's what I'm calling mine dot inner HTML with a capital H T M and L plus sign equal sign open quotes, br, tag, to add a line break, close quotes, plus m dot message, that's that right there, dot text, that's that right there, semicolon, and close those curly braces, close the other curly braces, and close the parentheses. Now, only two more things to do. First thing is to subscribe to the channel. So pubnub dot subscribe open parentheses open curly braces and then on the next line channels colon open square brackets open quotes m s g close quotes close curly brackets sorry, close square brackets, close curly braces, and close parentheses. Now just one more thing. One more, and this one's optional because theoretically you could put it inside of this function. But I'm not going to, just for the fun of it. Function send input. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly braces. And this should be pretty simple. Send message open parentheses, document, dot, get, element, with a capital E, by, with a capital B, ID, with a capital I, open parentheses, message, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, value, because this is an input, this is where you're going to type your message into, close parentheses, semicolon, and finally, to clear the input so you don't have to do that yourself, document, dot get element with a capital E by with a capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes message close quotes close parentheses dot value equals open quotes close quotes and I spelled value wrong so let me fix that and that just makes the value be nothing so that it's empty great we're done with the JavaScript so close up that script tag next we have to make an input, obviously. Input ID equals message, or whatever you called it up here, it really doesn't matter. I'm calling my message. Close quotes. And that's it. You don't need to close the tab because it's an input tag and they're weird. 
Now create a button tag. Button. On click equals open quotes. Send input. Open parentheses, close parentheses, close quotes. And inside the button tag, put whatever text you want. I don't care. I'm going to just put send. Close the button tag. And finally, create a div. Give it the ID new msgs or whatever you called it up here doesn't matter but that's what i'm calling mine and just close the div slash div great save that file i'm going to call it pubnub.html oops accidentally added that twice don't know how that happened doesn't matter save now pop open your browser and find the file on your computer and drag it into the new tab. I believe it's under developer. Yep, there it is. Ignore that disaster. Great! So now here it is, pubnub.html. And I'm going to type some text into this box. Let's type poop and press send. Nothing happens. Subscribe key missing. Let's see what's up with that. Oh, look at that. I spelled subscribe key wrong. Don't do that. Make sure to spell subscribe with an R. And to subscribe. Okay, great. Save that file. Go back to your browser. Reload. Okay. Now it's going to work. Let's type stuff into the box and press send stuff. It's right there. Now, let's make sure that this is actually working. On my other computer, I'm going to film this. Stuff is also right there. And if I'm typing onto the MacBook, let's say I type waffles, and I press send, watch this computer very carefully. Waffles. Look at that. It works. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Especially subscribe, because guess what? I just got to 200 subscribers, and that may sound like a lot, but 95% of my audience is not subscribed. So I would recommend subscribing. I got to 200 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who subscribed. And remember that water is wet.